everyone, I'm here with June's Fairy Loot unboxing video. So if you're waiting for your box, don't watch this video because spoilers ahead, people. Um, those of you who don't know, Fairy Loot is a book subscription box that comes once a month, has a hardback YA, usually fantasy but not always, book in it, and five or six um, book related goodies. Um, they're based in the UK, so if you're a UK um, viewer out there wanting to try the book subscription thingy, with some goodies because there are ones out there that just have books this is a pretty good one to do and you're not being penalised by the huge shipping costs as well so the theme for this month was rebels in ball gowns which obviously big dresses, masquerades, daggers down the back of your bodice kind of cool so first up we have a Corvair candle which was made by Geeky Clean it apparently smells of strawberries and peppers, so it's quite pretty inside. Um, so probably not one will burn because the hubby doesn't like peppers, so there we go. But it's very nice if you like that sort of smell. Um, the Corvair series, ah, uh, there we go, hold on. It's, this is inspired by Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Not read that yet, so that would understand why I didn't quite get the reference here. But there we go. This beauty. which is a quote from Legendary. Um, the cushion cover, obviously you're not going to get the pillow as well in here, so the cushion cover um, is designed by Miss Fee and it's obviously from Legendary, as I've just said, by Stephanie Garber, the sequel to Caraval. I must get round to reading Legendary. I haven't found it in my library yet, so I'm still waiting for that. This is a slightly bigger cushion than usual, so I had to go and get a slightly bigger cushion. There's this rather beautiful little item. This is a reading journal from July to the end of the year. Now, I do have my own day-by-day -day diary that I've been using for all my book-related things and videoing and book blogging and that. But I'm going to try and use this reading journal. So I've already started filling it in which is slightly worrying, so obviously things going on. I'm going to use this side as my TBR wish list for the month and then this side I'll be putting in actual books that I've read. But there we go. Yay! So that's really pretty. And that is designed by Fiction Tea Designs and it's got quote art in there by Stella's Bookish Art. There's things like that in there. We've got some Shatter Me bookmarks. Um, Shatter Me is a series by Tahira Muffy and these are designed by Tajet Art. Um, I don't know anything about Shatter Me. I've not read the series. It's not on my wish list um, to read so I might be passing these on people. If you would like them please let me know. Now the next item is pretty fab and it's been designed by Team Fairy Loot and it's this rather wonderful masquerade mask which I think is rather spiffy. It is nickel free, so if you react to that, um, they have considered that for you. Fits in perfectly with the theme. There's this rather funky iron on patch, which I think I know where I'm gonna put it. And it is designed by Ink and Wonder. There's the fairy scoop with interview with the author. Bookmark, postcard. And the book itself is Grace and Fury. This is by Tracy Banghart and this is a rather beautiful cover and the trouble is my camera's not really showing it but it's it's very very pretty and then if I open it up for you to look inside because this is just pretty damn gorgeous so we've got this on the front cover not all prisons have bars and then obviously the spine and then on the back we've got the silhouette as well so I think that's very very gorgeous and there's the inside pages very very pretty there and with that obviously we have a letter from the author and on the reverse is the artwork of the two lead characters these are sisters in this book and going by the artwork one's obviously into ball gowns and one really couldn't care less Grace and Fury is a feminist fantasy with fierce sisters, rebellion and a ball. 
Um, the book we've actually got here is a Fairy Loot exclusive. Um, in the UK, we're not getting a hardback version. So this is just for us guys. How lovely is that? I have to say, this is a pretty good box. I like almost everything in here. It's a shame about the scent of the candle because it means I won't be burning it for various reasons. But I really appreciate this box. I think the goodies in here are all going to get used. I'm already using the reading journal. The cushion cover's already got a pillow in. It's fine, it's for home. I'm looking forward to reading the book as well. Something a little bit different, which is great. Uh, bonus item this month was a sampler of the Sea Witch, which is on my um, radar for my TBR. So I'm going to try that and see what I think of it. So there we are, that is the Fairy Loot June unboxing video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, did you get the box? What was your favourite item? Um, what do you like most about Fairy Loot boxes? Um, what's particular about them that makes you keep going back to them? Um, I'd be interested to know your thoughts on that. Thank you very much. Um, my book blog and social media links can be found in the description box down below. You can find more ramblings about books and me on all of those. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram and... Good reads. There we go. <laughs> As always, thank you very much for watching and happy reading. Bye.